welcome to another vlog. Happy Monday, happy Thanksgiving week. We are starting out the week with a lot of activity. It's gonna be a very busy week this week. Uh, we're heading out actually to have breakfast with my aunt, we're meeting her, and uh, that's how we're starting out our Monday. Then I think we're gonna go to Costco, and we gotta go to the mall, and then we've gotta go get our Thanksgiving groceries. Just realized I forgot my grocery list, so we're gonna have to stop at the house on the way to the grocery store um, so that I can grab that. In addition to trying to find time to film and edit content, I've got to get Thanksgiving stuff together. Thankfully, we're not hosting. That, that takes a lot of work off of our plate, but um, I am responsible for a couple of side dishes and an appetizer, and so I've got to make sure that I've got my groceries for that, and then I have figured out how I'm going to go about doing uh, the cooking. Cranberry sauce is tomorrow on Tuesday, the dressing components on Wednesday, and the green bean casserole gets assembled on Wednesday, and an appetizer that gets assembled on Wednesday night as well. So a lot of cooking on Wednesday. I will show you my outfit when we get home. Um, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I have not planned out this week. Got a little bit behind this weekend. We got our booster shots and it pretty much, um, it knocked us out. Saturday, spent the day like the last time with the second shot, spent the day achy, feverish, just feeling pretty darn miserable. And then yesterday I was feeling better, but um, I've got some uh, injection site inflammation. When I took my second shot the last time, the effects lasted for 72 hours. And we're at 72 hours now, I'm feeling great. We got boosted this weekend. So very excited about that, really happy about it. I'm um, excited. You're excited? Yeah, because now you're gonna let us go to the movies. That's right, we're gonna be going to the movies. I have not, we have not been to the movies since before the pandemic since way before the pandemic because right before the pandemic started in 2020 I had um, I had appendicitis and then before that my other my Siamese cat not the little one that we have but you know the, her predecessor um, had cancer and she was not in good health and so uh, we haven't been to the movies in probably I would say two years it has to be two years at least at least two years so we're gonna be going to the theater, and uh, that's Dude. gonna be fun. Yeah, if it's still showing, is it still showing? Do we I know? I don't know, I hope so. Okay. We saw Dune on HBO Max, but we really wanna see it like at the theater. So that's gonna be the movie that we go see. I don't think this is the case everywhere, but in our state, or at least in our county, we are required to show proof of vaccination before going into a restaurant or before uh, going uh, into movie theaters and bars and things like that. They make us show our vaccination record. I get it and I'm okay with it because I just think that that's the best way to stop the uh, pandemic. All right, so I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna put on some Christmas music and then, oh, we are gonna be decorating this week and that reminds me that I wanted to let you guys know that um, this week is the last weekly vlog um, we, I am going to be starting Vlogmas. Vlogmas is going on through the 24th of December. It's going to be a vlog every day. And so the weekly vlogs are going to come to an end. And I didn't vlog or I didn't post the vlog for last week just because it ended up being just me sitting around doing a lot of talking and for me that doesn't make a good vlog and so I decided that it was rubbish and I didn't want to post that because it's kind of boring and so uh, but this week there's definitely a lot to do there's definitely a lot to vlog and it's gonna be that way through the Christmas season but anyway all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling I want to play some Christmas music on our way to the restaurant and I will talk with you guys again in all right, so Costco was total insanity. Like, total insanity. I completely did not even think it's the week of Thanksgiving at the Costco. Oh my goodness. It was crazy in there. But thankfully, we were able to get in, get out. It didn't take very long, but we had to park like 20,000 miles away. Now we're headed off to the mall. I'm gonna go do our return. Maybe look around a little bit. Maybe. We're slowly but surely getting through our list. I need to figure out what is going on this week though. I am feeling a little bit unsettled because I don't have my week planned out. But anyway, I just thought I would let you guys know. Here's where we are and we're off to the next stop.
to show you the outfit of the day this is what I wore I decided to go with all black with a with a patterned trench coat so I am wearing my rib knit sweater short sleeve sweater from H&M my wide leg pants from Eloquy my black Sam Edelman loafer mules and then for the jacket my plaid coat from Cabby this is from a few seasons back and I saw somebody that had a very similar pattern to this. Uh, they had a, a trench coat, a Ponte trench coat, in this almost exact same pattern. I'll see if I can find it, and I will link it below because this trench coat is no longer available. But what I like about it is that, you know, the pattern breaks up the monochromatic look underneath and uh, creates a really nice cohesive look. And without meaning to, I matched my face mask. My face mask is purple. <laughs> um, I took my lipstick off because of the mask. And um, on the face, very minimal makeup, no eyeshadow because it's mostly running around day, not going to be doing any shooting or anything like that. Um, and then for jewelry, wore my medallion necklace from Amazon and my uh, springtime allegory necklace from Cam Pamela Card. I forgot to put earrings on, so I was not wearing any earrings today. So that's the look for the day. As we drove up, the delivery guy was here. I got a mango delivery. I ordered a blazer and a bag, so I will be hauling that for you here in a little while. I am going to take off my trench coat and um, get some work done because I've got nothing done. I haven't planned my week. Need to get that done. I'll come back to you after I have finished all that up. Um, happy Tuesday, and um, it has been an active morning. I have gotten up from bed, gotten ready, shot a video, and now we are getting ready to go to pick up my dead camera. I didn't tell you guys, or I haven't mentioned, but um, my major camera, my main camera um, that I use for shooting content that, remember, it broke down? Well, it's dead. It is fixable, but it will cost about four to $500 to fix it. Canon is no longer going to service this particular camera after the start of 2022, so January 1, 2022, they will no longer service it. So I figured that it's probably better just to get a new camera. So I'm going to have to buy a new camera. I don't know what camera I'm getting. I mean, I have my sights set on a camera to replace it, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on getting it. Um, but we have to go and pick up the camera from the camera shop and it is in that town that's about 30, 45 minutes away from us. So that's why I had to shoot first thing this morning because we've got to go and get the camera, come home and then, oh, you know, come back to, you know, closer to home. And then I've got to finish up some Christmas shopping and then, um, yeah, that's what's on deck for this morning for this for the first part of the day and then when I get home um, I have got to get the cranberry sauce going as well as getting my editing done on the video that I shot today and uh, I think I'm probably gonna have to shoot some additional footage I just haven't and I don't have time to do it right now I'll have to figure out when I'm gonna do it but been a weird day. I've been very out of sorts today and I think it's because I am way off of my routine. And not to mention the fact that I'm really hating my hair right now. <laughs> I 
just not having a good day. It was not a good makeup day for me because I was trying a new concealer, which I will haul later. And I kept having trouble with my, with one of my eyes because it had cat hair in it and caused it to water. And I, this was all while I was putting on my eyeshadow and it caused the, the concealer to freak out and my eyeshadow to freak out. And then I realized after I was done shooting my content that I only had one earring in and so hopefully my hair covered my ear. I don't know yet. I haven't uploaded the videos and I haven't looked at the playback. It has just been a challenging morning that I think will change as the day progresses. I'm not going to continue the day in this mindset. So anyway, a lot on my plate for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my outfit of the day. Feeling festive today. So I am going with this um, Kelly, this like forest green sweater that I have. I got this from Banana Republic. I like the sweater because it is a silk blend sweater and it has a really lovely drape. I love the color, very festive for the time. Love, love, love wearing gold with green, with especially with deep forest green. I love the way that looks. And so I am wearing my bamboo initial necklace and then for earrings, I'm wearing the little, um, the little, uh, shrimp styled huggies that I got from Amazon. And then I am wearing my ivory wide leg pants. I've got them really nicely rolled up and this shirt actually fits me really long. So I actually have a belt on underneath, um, to kind of help make it look like a cropped sweater. I think I'm going to go with this bag today. I just need to switch out all of my stuff into it. I have it still in my Gucci bag. For shoes, I am wearing my Reptile Loafer Mules. It's not raining too, too much, and hopefully it won't be raining where we're going too much. Uh, it's just in and out. We're not really going to be doing a whole lot of shopping or anything. We're not going to stop at the outlets like we did the last time. I will check in with you guys again later on today um, as we are traveling. So back in the car, um, we have picked up my, my poor dead camera and, um, we are headed off back home. We've got to finish off our Christmas shopping. I think we're going to go to Home Depot and the Nike store. And I think that should pretty much do it for Christmas shopping, but we are going to get some lunch all in between there. We're going to be heading home after we're done with all of that. And, um, I guess that's that. So we finally made it home from all of the shopping and everything, had lunch, and now I want to show you some of the stuff that we have gotten. But first, I would also like to show you something that my partner has been working on. So let me show you. Okay, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about these flowers that uh, my partner has been working on. Um, she is currently working on a glass, a stained glass sculpture. Her art is very, very sustainable, right? And so she doesn't like to throw anything away if at all possible. So with these glass scraps, um, she's come up with a way of using them in a way to create affordable art. And so she's made these beautiful stained glass flowers and they're not like your traditional stained glass. These are actually pieces of glass that have been stacked up on top of each other. She has created all of these beautiful, beautiful flowers and she's recently opened up an Etsy store to sell these. These are one of a kind, right? Yes. So this is um, one of my larger pieces that I've been working on. Um, it's basically a sculptural piece and I needed to create the stained glass to, to create the illusion of water flowing over a creek bed. Now the thing about it is I ended up with all this scrap glass at, at, at the end of it and I hate throwing things away. I decided to take those scrap pieces of glass to create what I call blooms. These blooms are basically little flowers and um, essentially it, it's just using the scrap glass in a, in a different kind of method, a more modern method. Uh, 
kind of like using watercolors to overlay one color on top of another to create an entirely different color or a different shade of the of the uh, same color family. Yep, so the Etsy store is open. Instagram, Pinterest, and the Etsy store are all A. Winburn Art. I will be sure to have everything linked down below. These are one of a kind. Um, you'll not have two of the same, but they are really, really beautiful. And what I love about them is that they are almost like, they have dimension to them. And, um, you know, it's just pieces of glass kind of stacked on top of each other. And I really like the way that the light plays through the glass. And that's what really attracted me to these when she first came up with the prototype for this. And I was really, really excited because they're just so beautiful. As you can see, we've got one here that has a little bit of purple glass. And when the sun shines through it, you can see the white glass behind it. And it looks really, really pretty. Make sure to check out the Etsy store. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about the pieces. I'm happy to answer any questions. So is my partner. I thought I would show these to you as possible gift ideas. That was the projects that are going on in the house right now from my partner. This is a business that she has recently started. I just wanted to showcase them because um, I think that they're very, very beautiful pieces. They're really beautifully decorative pieces, I think. I love having them hang on my door like that, but I do know that she needs to sell them. And so um, if you're interested, just make sure to um, either visit her Etsy store, follow her on Instagram and ask her there, or you can ask me and I'm happy to um, convey any responses. So now I am going to show you some of the stuff that we've been buying as Christmas gifts. If you guys need some holiday gift ideas and such, and then I'm gonna run upstairs and show you what I got from Mango. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive into the stuff that we've been getting as gifts. Okay, so I apologize about the terrible lighting. I'm in my dining room. And this is where we're storing all of the Christmas gifts that we've been getting. Uh, but I wanted to show you as a gift guide. I just wanted to talk a little bit about a stocking stuffer that I got from Amazon. You need to go away. Oh, fine. So these are stocking stuffers that I got from Amazon. And for everybody in my family that has got a car. Are you gone yet? So for anyone that has a vehicle or that really likes to take care of their car, I think these are great little stocking stuffers. These are, um, they're like little coasters for, they're little coasters, hi Papa, for your cup holders. And they come in all kinds of different finishes. I went ahead and got black with little pave crystals in them because I just thought that was really nice. Um, everybody in my house has like a really nice car, so I figured that this would be really cool to have. There's four to a pack. They're like, I think, $6 a pack. These are really, really great because Lord knows I hate it when you get when you get crumbs and the drink spills or your little cup holder bottom gets dirty and grimy from having cups in there and the dust and all of the stuff that collects in that cup holder. Well, this is a little coaster that fits that cup holder and it will keep your drink secure and it'll be easy to clean. You can just pop these out and give them a rinse and then put them back in and you keep your cup holders really clean. So I ended up getting like one for everybody in the family and they come four to a pack. So I think that that's a brilliant little stocking stuffer if you have someone that has a really lovely car and they wanna keep it clean, or you know maybe if that's something that you would want for yourself, this is an excellent little stocking stuffer. Another something that we got for someone in the family is this Aroma Rice Cooker Slow Cooker Steamer. I think that this is really, really a great gift. Now, you can do, you can steam vegetables, you can cook rice, you can use this as a slow cooker. It's like a multitasker. It doesn't air fry. That's the kitchen gadget of the season is an air fryer, but a rice steamer is really, really excellent, especially if you've got like a college student who doesn't have a lot of space perhaps in their dorm and they want to be able to steam or cook some of their own foods. This is really, really great. It's, as you can see, it's nice and compact and it will, come in so handy. I love having my rice cooker and I like the fact that if I need to in a pinch I can use it as a slow cooker as well or as a veggie steamer. Not just veggies, I mean you can steam and poach meats as well, proteins as well. So this is really an awesome, awesome gift. Then we also got some 
really beautiful double walled espresso cups. You've seen mine here on the channel every now and again. Now mine has got some really beautiful gold foil evergreens and I use mine year round because it reminds me of where I live in the Pacific Northwest with all of the pine trees and such. I love, love, love having double walled cups and we got someone a set of double walled cups. This is a set of two, I think. These are espresso cups, but you can buy them in different sizes and different shapes um, for espresso, for coffee, for a big mug. If somebody likes having like a big cup of coffee or likes adding milk to their coffee or ice to their coffee, these double walled mugs are amazing. I love them so, so much because they help keep my coffee hot. I also don't have to worry about setting it down on a surface because it's double walled. The hot liquid is not going to touch the table or anything and cause either condensation or steam marks or anything like that. You know, the heat's not going to warp the surface that you're putting it on. I love having double walled cups and this is makes an excellent, excellent gift. We ordered these off of Amazon as well. They're fantastic. We have a couple of Star Wars nerds in our family. And so we got this awesome Millennium Falcon waffle maker. We got this from William Sonoma, but we also found it on Amazon and it creates waffles in the shape of the Millennium Falcon. So if you've got anybody that is a Star Wars freak, this is a great novelty waffle maker. But I love the fact that it looks just like the Millennium Falcon and the waffles that it creates have the shape of the Millennium Falcon. I think that's so fun and so cool. Moving along with the Star Wars nerd theme, we also found these fantastic coasters that have got icons from the Star Wars movies. And these we got off of Etsy. And they're really, really cool because they are wood on resin and they've got various symbols, both from the Rebel Alliance as well as the Imperial Alliance. I love the fact that they have this beautiful wood and white kind of thing that looks really, really luxe to me. And we went ahead and bought the entire set, but the Etsy seller, and I will have these linked in the description box down below, the Etsy seller sells them in different genre. So you've got like the original Rebel Alliance, you've got the original Imperial Alliance, and you've got the Mandalorian set and then another set. I don't remember what. They've gotten really, really super complex. I will be sure to have these linked in the description bar down below as well. I also wanted to show you the advent calendar that I will be opening up at the start of Vlogmas. So give me a second. I bought myself this advent calendar. It is the, um, it is in good taste and it is the drink and be merry advent calendar. This advent calendar comes with wine and I'm not going to open it up just yet. So I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like these are either a single or a double pour of wine. I was hoping they would be a single pour. This is a 24 day advent calendar. I'm going to be opening one a day. Uh, during the holidays. So very, very excited to have this. I went back and forth on what type of advent calendar to get and I thought that wine would be good because I could taste it and I could talk with you about it and the different wines that they have in this advent calendar. I'm really super excited. I'm probably going to open them up in the morning or in the mid middle part of the day in case it's a wine that needs to go in the refrigerator and then um, I will taste it later on in the day. So I'm very excited for this advent calendar. I've also ordered a coffee advent calendar from Nespresso. I asked you guys about that on Instagram stories and you guys were interested in seeing the Nespresso advent calendar. So I um, have ordered it. I have yet to receive it. So I'm not sure if it is going to get here in time. I'm not even sure. I don't know if it's a 24 day or a 12 day advent calendar. That may be why they're okay with delaying getting it. Um, but I hope to get that soon. Um, and uh, once I do, I will be also doing a coffee of the day and that for sure will be happening in the morning um, as I start my day with the vlog every morning. So fingers crossed that we get that on time 
And if it is a 12 day calendar, then I probably won't start opening that up until the 12th of December um, through the 24th. If you love Vlogmas, make sure that you are subscribed because I am super excited. I have things planned for Vlogmas. I've got um, some activities that we're going to be doing. Um, a Christmas cruise, um, like walking through a botanical garden that's all decked out with lights. And then there's a parade that happens here once a day, every day through, I think it's like from the day after Thanksgiving through um, the 24th or 25th of December. So we'll be visiting that parade at one, some point. Um, watching it from above though, I don't like being in the crowd, but uh, we will try and capture that parade if possible. I am going to take a little bit of time to relax because it has been a very, very hectic day. I'm gonna get my today's video uploaded into my laptop so that I can start the editing process and then we were gonna we're going to make some cranberry sauce so I will talk with you guys again here in a little bit actually no I lied I'm so sorry I've got stuff upstairs that I want to haul we recently made a trip to Target and um, I picked up a bunch of things and the first thing that I wanted to mention is I picked up an elf camo concealer now I am wearing it today and I will say that I am somewhat disappointed so far not impressed i can see the dark circles under my eyes now my um under eyes do look nice and hydrated they don't look crepey or anything like that they actually look to be in good shape so that's why i'm gonna give this one a second chance i think maybe it could be that I used a beauty blender with it. So I'm going to try using a brush with it and see if that's better because it could very well be like the um, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which also doesn't perform nearly as well when you use a, a beauty blender or a makeup sponge uh, as when you use a brush. That particular concealer is definitely formulated for a brush, I think, to really work the way that it's supposed to. So I'm wondering if the e.l.f. Camo uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer is the same way. So we will see. I'm still experimenting with this. I have used it once. I am in the shade medium. And um, yeah, I'm just not all that impressed with what I'm looking at in the camera. I can see the shadows right here on my under eyes, although lately, I'm not surprised. First of all, I'm dehydrated. And secondly, I haven't been sleeping well, so that could very well be it. Next is something that I got for decorating my room from Target. I got this garland. It is a nine foot clear lit garland. So I will be putting this up back here on my bookshelf. I got a little stocking to put on my garland with my initial because you know how I am with my initial. Then I also got some hooks, some, um, some of the command hooks uh, these are kind of massive so i don't know but they are white so they'll blend in with my bookcase back there and then um i had to get myself some pet rollers because i don't have any in this room and i don't have any at the exit of my house and uh, you just walk through my house and you pick up cat hair so i needed to get myself some sticky rollers for my clothes picked up some lip smackers as stocking stuffers. I love lip smackers, lip balm. I think it's like one of the best lip balms ever. They're so um, hydrating and they taste and smell delicious. They remind me of my childhood. But anywho, I had to replenish my um, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, uh, Lash Primer. Mine is pretty much dried out. So I'm gonna be busting this out probably tomorrow. And then I hit the Target dollar section and got myself a few of these beautiful little uh, gold toned Christmas trees. Um, they're gonna be going over there somewhere. I'm gonna set up a little Christmas tree vignette over there on my bookcase. And I got a glittery bottle brush Christmas tree. I've got a pink one and I thought I would get a really pretty cream ivory colored one with gold glitters for to I give it a friend to hang out with. Um, so this is going to be another little holiday vignette that I'm going to be putting up in my room somewhere. I have gone a little bit bag crazy and I picked up this bag at Mango and I really really love it. It is bigger than I thought it was going to be but it has a really cool shape to it. It is kind of reminiscent of a hobo bag, but um, it's a lot more 
modern in line and design. Um, it's not as slouchy, but it does have that basic feel to it. And I really, really like it. Let me show you in the mirror. I really like it. I like the design of it. I think that it is awesome. It fits right under my arm. And I am really glad for the size of it. It still has all its stuffing in it. But I'm really glad for the size of it because I think that it would easily fit this camera. And so when I'm out and about, I can carry my camera in my purse without an issue, as well as other things. Um, it is real leather. It is a leather bag. It does have, um, it's got suede on it and leather. I love the color of it. I think that this color is outstanding. Um, I think it's beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag. All right, so I picked up this blazer from Mango as well. Now, sadly, it's a little bit tight in the arm, so I think I'm going to have to exchange it. But I absolutely love this blazer. I love the pattern of the blazer. It is a really cool houndstooth in a camel and black. And then you've got the cream backing on it. And it is a beautiful, beautiful blazer, though. It's got a really lovely lining to it. It is a very nicely constructed blazer. Um, and uh, I'm really sad that the arms don't fit because I do love this blazer a lot. It is a double-breasted blazer, but I always wear my blazers open anyway. But, wow, it looks really good with this sweater. Um, so, yes, I am happy with the blazer, but I need to exchange it for a larger size. So, this is a 2XL in the straight sizes. I want to go ahead and get it in their plus size because they do offer it in plus size. Um, so I think I'm going to exchange that, but just thought I would show you the blazer because it is fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and let you go for the time being. I need to go downstairs, upload today's video and start working on it before I start working on the cranberry sauce. So I guess I will see you guys when it's time to cook. I've started editing my content and I don't think I'm going to post it that way because the topic is essentially it is how do I find my personal style. I can't post this type of content with just one earring in. I can't believe I did that. So I'm going to scrap this footage and I'm going to reshoot and then um, yeah. But as such I'm just going to I'm just going to call it quits for the day. I'll make my cranberry sauce tomorrow. It comes together very quickly. It won't be hard. And the components for the dressing aren't hard either, as well as the th green bean casserole. So tomorrow will be a cooking day. Tonight, I'm calling the night. It is 7.15. I've got to feed the cats. And I'll just deal with it tomorrow. So that being said, have a good night. I'll talk with you tomorrow. Hello, friends. It is Wednesday. And the day has started off. It, we are at a running start for Wednesday. Been up since 6.45-ish. And uh, I'm headed off to get my hair done. It is going to be a cut and a touch-up because I cannot handle these roots. Actually, I would have gotten this done a lot sooner. But this was the first appointment that my stylist had available when I scheduled it four weeks ago. So... <clears throat> and 8.30 was really the only viable time on the day before Thanksgiving because today is a heavy cooking day. I have to apologize for my exit yesterday. Um, I was very, very frustrated because my day went without anything really, truly being accomplished. It was just such a weird day yesterday. I was really off my game. Really, really off my game. It and so... It was very much a sideways day, except for we got most of our Christmas shopping done. I've got one or two gifts still to get, but otherwise Christmas shopping is done. We ended up putting off cleaning, which means that we're probably putting off decorating until the day after Thanksgiving. I was hoping that we would get that done today or by today, but that's not going to be the case and it is what it is. I'm not sure when I'm going to be shooting the video for Friday <laughs> because, um, you know, I'm behind schedule as it is. I've got to get home from a hair appointment and get the video, get today's video shot, edited, posted. Uh, thankfully, there's no links. So linking in the description box takes like the longest especially when there's a lot to to, to link like <laughs> this week's vlog there's gonna be so many links in the description box oh and cooking I forgot to mention one of the most important things all of the cooking I didn't get my cranberry sauce made yesterday because I was just so mad and I was all like if I try and make the cranberry sauce today I'm, I'm liable to burn it 
Uh, so um, today is a heavy, heavy cooking day. So thankfully, a lot of the stuff, I, I've done it so often, I've got it down to a system. It actually goes very quickly. Uh, the only thing that requires a fairish amount of veggie ch chopping, and I might have my sous chef over here help me out with it, is the dressing. I can do it. <laughs> it's mostly just baking things. Thankfully, dinner is going to be really quick. It's going to be some sort of a pasta. We've got a lot of really, really cool cyber sales going on. Um, I'm not sponsored by Ana Luisa, but she's got a really great sale happening right now. Skin Store also has got a really great sale going right now. Uh, they've got a lot of different brands that are um, giving discount. I know that New Face is running their sale I think through the 1st of December and that's the one that's really got me interested because the New Face device is one of those things that I talked about in my um, investments video that if you're going to get a facial tool, you know, any kind of skincare tool, uh, a New Face is one of the best ones out there especially if you have lost some of the tone and the muscles of your face. It's really, really good. And it also helps with firming up your neck. I will check in with you once we're done with hair. Okay, friends, we are now downstairs and we have started the dinner prep or the cooking prep. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on time lapse. I'm going to start out with making the cranberry sauce. And then um, I think after that is cooked and ready, I'm going to move on to cornbread and dinner. So let me go ahead and set you guys down. Enjoy the time lapse. out on your lounge chair yeah crazy girl you're silly you're so precious yes you are you're precious mama you're precious yeah cornbread is baking right now I'm about to get started on dinner here in a few minutes. I've decided that I'm going to do the green bean casserole tomorrow in the morning because I'm going to have some time. We're not going to head over there until maybe about 11. Um, so I'll have the morning to work on the, um, to work on the green bean casserole, but I am going to make the dip. The dip that I'm making is the Nor spinach dip, which is a family favorite. I made it last year after not having had it like in over 10 years and it was phenomenal. So I'm making the dip tonight and um, finishing up the parts of the cornbread, which the cornbread is beeping at me. It is ready. Let's go have a look. Okay, so the dressing phase one is complete. Now this cornbread is going to sit and cool. We get a lot of cool air up through this vent, so it's gonna sit there and cool off and I won't touch it again until the morning. The cranberry sauce has come together beautifully. It is congealing in such a lovely way. It's kind of funny how when you add apple, when you add apple to stuff like that, the pectins are what cause it to become kind of jelly-like. And so that's what gives it the body that it has. Okay, so I have not made my packing list yet. So I think I'm gonna take have a seat 
work on creating a packing list, making sure that I have everything that I need packed up tomorrow in the morning. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and also I need to read the instructions on the garlic toast, on the garlic bread, because that's the other half of the, um, of the cornbread dressing and also part of our dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started as well. So, all right, here we go. So, hello friends, it is Sunday and I am actually just about to go out and run an errand, but I thought that I would close the vlog out here. Otherwise it is going to be way, way, way too long. It's already at 40, 45 minutes. Um, so I just wanna go ahead and close it out and then we will pick it up again on Wednesday when Vlogmas starts. So, so excited for that. Thank you as always for spending some time out of your day with me. Make sure to leave me a turkey in the comments. If you have stayed through to the end, I would really love to see who's been hanging out all the way to the end. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.